Okay guys, this is my Jetson Bolt Pro. I've had it over six months, use it twice a week at least, and I thought we'd have an overview of what's been happening with it and how I like it and what I've replaced and what's broke and so on. First off, when it came, it was refurbished. I got it on a refurbished site. It was $249 and the, the uh, brake disc was bent, so I had to. I purchased another one, but instead of uh, replacing it, I bent it back so it was pretty much level, straight. But it wasn't completely straight, so the brakes would uh, bind just a little bit, so I had to back off on the brakes a little bit on the back. So the back brake wasn't as tight as the front brakes, um, but that's what happened with the brakes. The uh, charger, and after a while it broke, either the green light would come on, it would never go to red, or it would go to red and never go to green. I replaced it with an identical specification one online. You want to be careful. A lot of people have had trouble with e-bikes and usually from when they're charging either a problem with the battery or the the little charger unit. So uh, make sure you get the correct charger and the correct battery. Speaking of which, I purchased a second battery. I removed the battery from the inside of the Jetson and purchased two cables. You just c connect them. It's, it's snap plug and play. There's no soldering or any uh, difficulty involved. And uh, I also purchased uh, an, a second battery. It's original uh, battery used for the Jetson, same specification. It's a, got it on eBay, someone who refurbishes the Jetson ones. A lot of people are using larger batteries and uh, they give you more power, more speed and so on, more length of time to use it. But I didn't do that because I worry about batteries and I want to make sure I use the same specifications as the one that was sold with the bike. So I have two batteries. When this one dies, I just unplug it and I have the other battery on the other side of the bag. This bag I purchased, which I like a lot, it goes on a rack. I'll leave a link to them in the video description. Um, the, uh, the other thing I purchased was just a couple of weeks ago, the throttle broke. and I had to replace it. There was a guy on YouTube, his name is Shiva. He has an excellent video on how he replaced his uh, broken throttle. I tried to fix it. Uh, there was a broken plastic part and I'm, I have a plastic welder and JB Weld and uh, other things I can fix plastic. But the thing of it is, after it broke, by turning it, it dislodged some of the wiring where close to the magnet and I wasn't able to get that back in correctly. I don't know how it was supposed to fit. So I could never get this back to work, even though I put the plastic back together correctly. Um, so what I did is I purchased a thumb throttle. That's right here. I don't know if that's the best place for it, but it, it worked for me. When I put it back together, the uh, this shows the power level of the battery. Initially when my wiring, uh, I, this would come on, but I couldn't get the throttle to work. There was no power. So I readjusted my wiring and now the throttle works and the light comes on. But this part doesn't show the power of the battery. However, my lights turn them on. For the uh, the old, the regular, the one that comes with the, 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 the bike, come on, the power level. And my light comes on. Um, I purchased, you want to get some really good uh, mirrors. I like these. I'll leave a link in the video description. People ask me about the speed. I've only been able to get like 13 miles, maybe a little over 13 and a half miles an hour with a fresh battery. The battery lasts about an hour and 15 minutes, which gives me about 15 miles. The seat, I, I wouldn't want to sit on the seat for three hours. <laughs> so you don't necessarily want a, a better seat. You want to... <laughs> uh. I don't think I would want to be riding on the bike for three hours, regardless of the seat. Like I said, I put different pedals that fold up, and it helps to uh, put it in the car. Um, this is handy for carrying the water and so on. Uh, what else? Um, I think that's about it. It's It's been one of the better things I've purchased this year, or in the last few years, actually. I use it, like I said, twice a week. And... Um, you want to be very careful with your batteries. I only charge my batteries for until until they come on. Or they're full, like about three hours. But I mean, what I'm going to get, I don't leave them on overnight. I put them on during the day, and I monitor, make sure they don't get hot. And uh, you know how many amps you have in your battery, so you know with your charger how long it would take to charge. 
So uh, monitor that. You don't want to let it go on forever. And uh, also, when the batteries are charged, I just separate the power cord and I put the battery in a container that's metal. So I have no too big worries about the batteries. But you don't want to charge them overnight in your car, your apartment, your apartment, or your garage, or whatever. And uh, keep them disconnected. I like having the fact that the batteries no longer inside the unit because sometimes you can take bikes on the uh, buses, but they don't want you to have the battery in the actual bike if it's on the front of the bus. So this way, you can detach your batteries. So this is my update, like like seven or eight month update, and what I've done. And uh, I'll, I have a playlist on uh, Jetson Bolt. I have several videos where people have uh, replaced their battery, replaced their uh, charger in their uh, throttle and so on and uh, uh, you can see them and what they did and any questions about what I did let me know in the comments I'll be happy to answer anything I can help answer. Great, right, take care, see you out there.